Okay, first what you are gonna wanna do is get your fecal sample. Make sure when you take it, it's fresh. So either if you're not collecting directly from the goat, um, just pick it up as soon as it poops. And then before you do your sample, if you're gonna do your sample, run it later on, just put it in the refrigerator. Um, what I like to do is I take two plastic little cups, I put them top to bottom, I put them on my scale, and I zero my scale out so that it reads 0.0, .0 grams. And then using a little popsicle stick you can get from Walmart, I'll take my fecal sample and I will weigh out four grams. So like that one was 4.7, so I'm gonna take everything out, take what I, out what I need to be able to get it to four grams. We got four grams in the cup. So then what I'll do is I take my cups and I use a 30 cc syringe because you're gonna want to put in 26 cc's of the um, fecal solution, the salt solution you use. I don't know if you have the stuff to make, you're making it up or if you're buying the solution. The solution we use is Fika Med by Vet One. So you may be able to Google that and be able to buy that. Um, it's just nice, it's already made up, but once you open it, each time you use it, shake it up really good because the salt sits on the bottom. So because you have four grams of poop, you're gonna use 26 cc's of the salt solution. Um, so like, let's say you only had three grams of poop, you would use 27 cc's of salt solution because you want a total of 30 cc's. So as you can see, 26, 30, 26 cc's, which is the same as ml's. You're gonna put that directly in with your poop. And next what you're gonna do is mix your poop up really good. So like this one was um, really runny poop. So if you've got pellets in yours, what I normally do is I put my thumb right here and I'll take the pellet inside the cup and with the popsicle stick, I'll push the pellet up against my finger, each pellet. Cause you really wanna break it apart so it's real mixed up good. So that way once you break the poop open, you're gonna be able to see the eggs. So once it's mixed up, this is the reason why I do two cups, because you've got a clean cup of, underneath. You'll take your tea strainer, which it looks just like this, and you can get that at Walmart. Put it on top of your clean cup, like that. And you're gonna take the mixed slurry, call it a poop milkshake, and pour it over the strainer so that it's going into the cup. As you can see, I'll raise it up so you can see it up there. Then what you're gonna do is push it around. See how more liquid's coming out? Push it all around to get all the liquid out. And what I normally do, it makes it really easy, is once I get the majority of the liquid out, I hold the cup and tap it. And then I'll drag it across and tap. And the idea is you'll know when you get the majority of the liquid out when your poop goes into a little ball like that. We can just set that to the side and now you have what you're going to put into your slide. I don't know if you got the slide with three chambers or two chambers. If you have the two chamber slide, it will be, you'll fill up both chambers and you're gonna go down the grid lines on the microscope and you're gonna count all the worm eggs you see. And then you take the number from this chamber and the number from this chamber. So let's say you got 10 here and 20 here. 10 plus 20 is 30. And then you take that total number and multiply by 25. So with the three chamber slide, although they're more expensive, if you've got more goats, it's easier to do because all I have to do with the three chamber is only take and put the solution into one chamber. 
and I'll count all down all the grid lines of this one chamber and then multiply that total by 25. So we use these little things, pipettes, they're disposable, but at um, Walmart, you could probably get um, like the, uh, the diabetes syringes or an eyedropper will probably work. And what I do is I mix that up really good to make sure my eggs haven't sunk to the bottom and then draw up from the top of the solution. So don't stick it all the way down and then suck up. You want to suck from the top because it's called a fecal flotation. So the eggs float to the top and then you're going to fill up that one chamber. See if I can show this without flipping. You can see right there how it's filled up. Okay. And even though there's a bubble on the side, it's not in the actual chamber where you'll be counting, so it's okay. So what you then will do is you'll put it under your microscope. I normally, since I already got this one prepared, and I'm only doing one goat, I'll go ahead and stick it under there. And then I'll let it sit for five, at least five minutes to make sure all the eggs float up. And then what you'll do is you can get these little counters, look like this. I think like Walmart, you may be able to look out up online, but have them, they're real cheap. It's easier to count the eggs with that. And then what you'll do is as you're going down each grid line, so you'll start in the first one in a, like a corner, you'll count each egg so you, Click this each time you saw a strongyl egg. And so your strongyls are either your trichostrongyloides and that's also your barber pole. So really underneath the microscope, all you're gonna know is how many eggs per gram of feces you have and not um, what type of eggs they are. The only difference you can see is in tapeworms and whips and then also coxie. But as we know, that's not really a worm. Um, so remember, once you do your numbers, if you're doing a two chamber slide, add both of those together and then multiply by 25. And if you're doing a three chambered slide, only fill up one chamber, take that total number of eggs you counted and multiply by 25. Um, if you got any questions, just feel free to call, email, or Facebook me. Thanks.